Good morning, CLI Church families. Pastor Ryan bringing you a Saturday devotion. Uh, I was reading this week, and as I read Psalm 121, bless my heart, and I wanted to share just a couple of thoughts with you uh, in this brief moment this morning. Psalm 121, listen, this is out of the New King James Version. It says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will preserve you from all evil. He will preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth, even forevermore. And praise God, we need those words on these days. There's another version that really blessed me that I want to read to you now, and it's out of the message by a dude named Eugene Peterson, and it's just his rendition of that same scripture. But listen to this, it really blessed my heart. It says, I will look up to the mountains. Does my strength come from the mountains? No. My strength comes from God who made heaven and earth and mountains. He won't let you stumble, and that's good. Your guardian God won't fall asleep, not on your life. Israel's guardian will never doze or sleep. God is your guardian right at your side to protect you, shielding you from sunstroke, sheltering you from moonstroke. God guards you from every evil. He guards your very life. He guards you when you leave and when you return. He guards you now. He guards you always. That's Psalm 121. Guys and girls, as we walk through these weeks, we understand that as Christians, as children of God, we are breathing the same air. We're walking this same broken earth. And we're walking through these challenging weeks where, where it hurts and many of our church family hurt. But as we walk through that, we are those that have hope. And as the psalmist writes, Eugene Peterson pointed out something, that even as that psalmist wrote on those days, there was a good chance on some of the hills around Israel, there were uh, high places that were erected to pagan deities. And they were like almost like good luck charms. And you could run up to any one of the high places and worship the God on that high place to get something in exchange. And and the psalmist writes and says, am I going to look up to the hills? Uh, am I going to look to the hills where they build those high places? No, I'm going to look higher than any, any erected idol or any deity. I'm, I'm going to look to the one that made heaven and earth. And in these hard days, we understand that we can't look around us. You can't find a man that can give you hope. You can't find a political party that can give you hope. You can't find any race that can give you hope. What we do on these days is we look higher than the hills. We look higher than the high places and we look to the God that created heaven and earth and he will guard you on your journey. Does it mean you'll never stub your toe? Does it mean we'll never walk through difficult days? No, it doesn't mean that. But what it means is this, is there is nothing that this hellish earth can bring forward that will separate you from the heart and the will and the purpose of God in your life. Listen to Romans 8. It says, what can separate you from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Your guardian God walks with you and he says over you today, no matter what you face, nothing can separate you from his great work. He's not only the God that made the mountains, he's the Lord that made all things and he's the one that we throw our hope into today. May the Lord bless you. You be encouraged.